morning, dear guests. Welcome to China. Welcome to Hangzhou. And this is Boya. I'm taking charge for the platform of artificial in intelligence in Alibaba Cloud. And uh, actually, this year we met a lot of customers running their AIGC instance on top of the platform of AI. And today I'm going to share some products and use cases we are building for our customers. And uh, first of all, platform of AI. Actually, we start to build platform of AI more than 10 years ago. So start from 2000, uh, 2012, and by that time, we're building some uh, standardized algorithm components inside of the big data platform, our max, com max compute. And as you can see, all the we job, we, we shipped uh, the cloud, pro cloud product in 2016, and uh, by by actually all, all the way down by end of uh, 2023, we shift the pipe. We shift pipe in June. Here are some key moments for us. The firstly is actually we we shift all of our cloud native based AI products in 2020. We start to build our AI platform based on AI uh, based on cloud native technologies start from uh, 2018 and finally we have Pi, DSW, DLC, EAS, as Fifi just mentioned all the, all the cloud native products were built up on 2020 and this year is especially for AIGC and large language model we shipped to Pi Lingjun, later I will give some, give some intro, uh, introduction for this, for this product and as we can see, the AI development paradigm changed a lot since the end of last year. And the actually, pre model is not a magic thing, which is created, I think, uh, over five, six years ago. But by end of last year, when OpenAI started to ship their large language model, more and more people and customers start to join us to build this kind of uh, uh, eco eco ecosystems. Actually, we divided uh, the, the participators into, into three tiers. The first tier we call pre-trained model producer. It's the customers like uh, Alibaba ourselves. We're, we're using the platform to build huge, huge models with parameters over maybe 50 or 100 billion parameters. And then we know the, the huge model, the large language model can do a lot of things, but we still need a lot of uh, industry data. We need to put industry data into the model to do the fine tuning. And uh, then we we found there are, there are also lots of customers, we call middle tier, the leveraging vertical data to, to bring in the customer, to bring in the industry know-how to the, to the model. And also we provide a group of tools for this kind of customers and help them to do the fine tuning efficiently. And, and lastly, we also have a lot of uh, customers. They are building AI applications, and they direct to serve the end users. And uh, by this time, we can we can easily leverage cloud native technologies to have a high efficient, uh, elastic inference service built on built on Alibaba Cloud or any other kinds of elastic resources. And uh, in this. Uh, in this new pattern, we also observe a lot of new challenges. So the first challenge is about the data. And uh, when we start to build large language model or we build AIGC related, uh, related applications, we start to realize, oh, the data is huge and the data quality is very important, especially when you, when you want to do some fine tuning for your own data. So we need to have a way to store the data to manage the data efficiently. And then the second challenge is related to scalability and the stability. And when we try to build a large language model, normally you need to use at least uh, 128 servers, more than, maybe, maybe more than 1,000 GPU cars. And you need to run the training phase for, for over weeks or months. So it will bring a lot of new challenges for the stability and the scalability related areas. And the third one is also a very important challenge is about the talents. We need to hire a lot of algorithms, 
uh, we also need, need to hire a lot of people who are building this kind of uh, large-scale training system. And we need to have a, a group of tools to help them to work efficiently. And lastly, as related to the business efficiency, end-to-end -end business efficiency. If, yeah, if you just have an AIGC model, yeah, what, what you can do? We need to help our customers to build their end-to-end -end business scenario easily. And uh, Fifi just showed us the, the, the overall graph of platform of AI, and we covered the whole life cycle of machine learning development. In the last part, this, this four part is related to our developers. They need to use our platform to do data labeling, tagging, and also to do model development, interactive de development. After they, after they finish their development, they need to use a deep learning container to do large-scale model training. After they got the model, they use Elastic Inference Service to train uh, to, to do the model, model inference. And at the same time, as a company, we also need to have a lot of management tools. For example, you can imagine if you have more than 1,000 GPU cards on the cloud, how you can manage this? If you have uh, uh, hundreds of models, how you can manage your AI assets? So we have AI workspace and AI assets to help our customers easily manage all kinds of uh, stuff you need to run on the cloud. And lastly, Pi also provides a group of uh, open, open API so that you can easily integrate your own system with the platform of artificial intelligence. So the end-to-end -end process will help the, our customers to, to increase the working efficiency for your valuable tenants. Yeah. And this year, 2023, we shipped the Pi Lingjun. Pi Lingjun is designed for a super large-scale AI system and is cloud native with high performance, stability, and very easy to use. And we ship this in China this year. And then in early to early next year, we're going to ship this product to global regions. And I'll give some detail about Piling June. So as as I mentioned, we need to if if we want to train a large language model, normally we need to use uh, thousands of uh, GPU GPU cards. And if you train a GPT 3.5, maybe you need to use a uh, 1,000 GPU cards and train over, over two or three years. Sorry, not two or three years, two or three months. And uh, we need to have very high performance compute, network, and storage. We need to make these three key things work together efficiently. Otherwise, if you, if you didn't have high, uh, high performance network, yeah, your GPU will be wasted there. And uh, inside of Pi Lingjun, we, we, we already have the cluster which can host more than 100,000 cars in one, in one cluster. And uh, most of our customers who are building their large language model, they are, they are using Pi Lingjun to train models with more than 1,000 GPU, GPU cars. And at the same time, we have a high performance storage products, the CPFS. We integrate this into into Python Tune, which have ultra high throughput in parallel. It's a parallel storage, and also related to the network. To the network part, we have an RDMA network, which already supports three point two terabytes per second for the bandwidth part, and with very low latency network. And just to have hardware is not enough. Yeah, if you have 1,000 machines running there, actually every day there will be some bad things happen on the, on the hardware part. So for stability, we need to have an integrated parts which integrates software and hardware capabilities together so that we can easily maintain this system. And firstly, we need to have a NUSA, which is, a, which is built for managing large-scale cluster network. And also, we have AI Master Easy Checkpoint. It's mainly for fault tolerance model, for tolerance model training. And lastly, we have cloud native performance test platform. That means after you have this, after you have a, a, a an AI cluster, you need to test it whether it's okay or not. So this is for this uh, stability and, and performance. 
And, and, and lastly, Pi Lingjun also provide enterprise capabilities. Yeah, so that you can easily manage the assets and you can easily operate. Yeah, if you have a lot of teams, a lot of team members, they want to use GPUs, how you can do the prioritization and, and uh, to do the security control. Yeah. So after you train the model, you need to do inference. And the inference also costs a lot. And we have Elastic Algorithm Service, which is the best way for model to build a model as a service. Actually, our own, uh, our own big model, Tuichelen, is all on top of EAS. It's all on top of EAS. And it provides elastic, can elastically scale up and scale down for the AI inference. And EAS is now globally in major regions around the world. And here are some basic concepts of uh, uh, Pi, Pi EAS. So it's, it's built for AI, AI inference and uh, it's, it's natively integrated with cloud. And in the, in the bottom part, it can, it can leverage GPU, CPU, and spot instance on Alibaba, on Alibaba Cloud. And also we have, a, we have a scale up, scale down strategy in container level. So user can easily leverage EAS to have an elastic enterprise level inference, in, uh, inference service. And also we have PyBlade, which is an inference accelerator to help you to increase the GPU usage. And uh, here are some, here are some uh, numbers we optimized for specific for AIGC models. I have not read the numbers. And after that, as I mentioned, we need to have a, a group of tools combine them together to make sure our customers have their business run end to end. So, uh, so you, uh, as you can see, you can integrate Pi EAS and stable diffusion model and our NAS or OSS, our storage products together with just uh, three steps, activate the products, deploy the model, and then you will have an instance to run your own AIGC service. And maybe yeah, it's still very complicated because you need to use the different uh, products. So yeah, you still want to have a very easy to use products. Okay, let me bring another thing. We, integrate, we integrated Pi and large language model together into our one, one product, our open search, which can easily enable conversational search. As I mentioned, you don't need to assemble all the products, all the cloud products by yourself. We already do it for you. You, you just need to open, you, yeah, activate an instance for open search and upload your data, and then you already have a conversational search result. And what's more, this is still not enough because you may have more and more uh, scenarios. And lastly, we have a group of best practices. We call it DSW Gallery and Quick Start. DSW Gallery is a Python-based gallery. It's mainly for the developers. They can easily train their, for uh, they can they can easily train their uh, stable diffusion model or try their Lama Lama uh, Lama two model. And Quick Start is designed. Quick Start is here. It's designed for the customers who know nothing about AI. They can direct go through the, the go through the steps so that they can. Have their, have their own models. Our, one of our vision is to help our customers to build your first AIGC applications within five minutes. So as you can see, we already provide a group of best practices listed in the, in the right part. Yeah, I think that's all from, from my part. We have a, we have a, a, a cloud-based AI native platform can support large language model training, large scale, and also we have Elastic Inference Service and with a group of best practice. And if you have any interest, go to alibabacloud.com and try our products to start your AIGC journey. Thank you.